Hello folks, this is your 2004 October November paper 2 and the question number is 6. This time I <laughs> I've browsed the questions and found that it was question number 6. Uh, figure 6.1 uh, shows the variation with applied potential difference V, v of the current I in an electrical component C. So you can see that uh, uh, current increases more rapidly as V goes on increasing. Initially the increase is less rapid, then it is more rapid. State with a region whether the resistance of a component C increases or decreases with uh, increasing potential difference. So one thing that we have to know is the resistance is equal to the ratio of value of V by value of I. Value of I. So here what we need to do is we have to uh, know the <coughs> value of V and I at the exact locations where we are comparing. So if I, uh, if I use a certain, uh, certain point here, certain point here, and if I use a certain point here, what you can see is here uh, the ratio of V and I, V and I should be more, and here the ratio of V and I should be less. We can see here V is uh, much larger than this I, and here it is uh, not as much large as uh, this I. So that means what happens here is since it is more inclined towards I, the resistance should decrease. So R should decrease. R should decrease. Then determine the resistance of component C at a PD of 4.0 volts. So we have to find the value of R. So here the value of current is 2. So uh, V is equal to 4.0 volt. Current is equal to uh, 2.0 into 10 to the power minus 3 ampere. So this gives us resistance is equal to V by I equal to 4.0 by 2.0 into 10 to the power minus 3. This will be equal to 2 to the 4, so it is be 2000 ohm. The resistance of this component is 2000 ohm here. Now, now component C, uh, who's uh, for which we are drawing this graph. So component C is 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 is, is connecting in parallel with a resistance resistor R of resistance 1500 ohm and a battery of EMF E and uh, so on. So on figure 6.1, draw a line to show the variation with PD V of the current I. So what we are given here is resistance R equal to 1500 ohm. We have to draw a graph here. So uh, if I do it here, what we can do is, so let me let, let me use a certain value of PD here. Uh, so PD equal to 6, V equal to 6.0. And we have R is equal to 1500 ohm. So this means that the value of I at the time should be equal to V by R. And that's equal to 6.0 by 1500. So it should be equal to 4.0 into 10 to the power minus 3 ampere. So, 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 the value at 6 should be exactly here. Here. So now what we need to do is we need to draw a straight line from here to here. So the graph should be... Uh, in your case, you'll have to use uh, a perfect ruler, which uh, I don't have uh, right now with me. So the graph will be from here, 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 from here, 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 somewhere like this. So this should be the graph here. You have to draw a straight line using your ruler or a scale. So you should not overwrite it. I am overwriting it to make it clear in the camera. But in your case, you should not be overwriting it. So this should be the nature of the graph for the uh, for the for the resistor. Now, hence or otherwise, use Figure 6.1 to determine the current in the battery for EMF of 2.0 volt. So now, 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 at a 2.0 volt. So if this is 2.0 volt, it will be 2.0 for this also and this also. So for uh, the current for the resistor here. The current through the resistor should be equal to from this graph I can see here at 2.0 the current through the resistor should be equal to around uh, say this, this is 1.5 uh, this is 1.3 so it's around 1.35 1.35 ampere and the current across this component is equal to at 2.0 it is so it is uh, uh, 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.75 so it is 0.75 ampere so here it is a 1.35 ampere and here it is 
0 0.75 ampere. So that means the total current will be equal to I should be equal to IR plus IIC equal to 1.35 plus 0 0.75 that will be equal to 0 here uh, 741 and this is 2. So it is 2.10 ampere. So let me check it. 5510 1 7, 4, uh, 11 and uh, 11 and carry over. so it's 2 so it is 2.10 ampere 2.10 ampere now in number c it is said that the resistance r of resistance 1500 ohm and the component c are now connected in a series so series means that now we have to draw a diagram somewhat like this uh, this is the source this is the source uh, then 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 we have this component C and then we have this component R like this and it is a 1500 ohm here across the supply of 7.0 volt now 0 volt using information from figure 6.1 say and explain uh, which component R uh, R or C will dissipate thermal energy at a greater rate so we have again to use this uh, graph here this graph this figure this figure 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 let me fold it properly to uh, identify whether c or r will be radiating power at a greater rate so here uh, in series so when it is in series in series in a series we have got to uh, current is current same same across say across r and c current same across r and c so that means we have to look like this we have to look like this so if uh, i make like this if current is 4 milliampere let us say then 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 we have uh, the pd across uh, c is uh, somewhat uh, 4.5.6 uh, and through resistor is uh, 6 so 6 and uh, uh, this is 6 6 and uh, uh, this, is, this is 6 here 6 and 5 and 6 makes 11 point something so it's not uh, equal to this so to make it 7 definitely Definitely, we have to take some sort of this current here. For example, if I take this current here, 3, it is 4.4 and 5, something 9.5. If I take 2 here, it's somewhat like uh, uh, 3 plus 4, 7. So, if I consider this thing uh, 3, it is somewhat like uh, 3 and 4. That means, we have to consider some, uh, some in this area here. So, when current is same, when current is same, from this area what I have is uh, at that time V across this uh, component is more than V across the resistor if current is same here in this reason in this reason V across C is more than VR we have to take this reason because the voltage uh, in this case might add up to 7.0 volt so VC is more than VR which means that if I consider now power power is equal to is equal to current into voltage so current same and V so power C is equal to I into VC and the power R is equal to I into VR so definitely since VC is more than VR we must have power in the in the component C must be more than power in the resistor R which means that C will be C will dissipate will it dissipate dissipate energy thermal energy energy at a higher rate higher rate than the then 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 the resistor r resistor r so that gives the complete solution of this question